Hello everyone, welcome back and uh, we are going to continue with the uh, functions graph in the, and uh, of, uh, of uh, trigonometrical uh, functions. And uh, what it is interesting about trigonometrical uh, functions is the period uh, uh, interval. And uh, we are going to tell that uh, if uh, sin of sin x equals to sin alpha, then uh, x equals to 2 kn plus alpha, alpha or x equals to 2 kn plus p minus alpha and k is a uh, uh, real value uh, is a nat natural value and cosinus x equals to cosinus alpha then x is equals to 2 kn plus minus alpha and uh, for tan x equals to tan alpha and cot x equals to cot alpha we have x equals to kn plus alpha And uh, and I must uh, correct here that all of those n is p. To k. P and P. Um, we are going to use uh, the exceptions uh, or uh, uh, see the simple uh, thing, and it is. Uh, sin x equals to 0 tan x equals to 0 then x equals to kp cosinus x is 0 cot x is 0 then x equals to kp plus p hal And uh, sin x equals to plus minus 1. Then x equals to 2kp plus minus p hal. Cosinus x equals to 1. Then x is 2kp. Cosinus x equals to minus 1, then x equals to 2kp plus p. And for uh, tan x equals to plus minus 1, cot x equals to plus minus 1, then x is kp plus minus p fourth
and we also remind about uh, remind about uh, derivatives and it is uh, sin u then it is u prime cosinus u cosinus u is minus u prime sin u tan u is u prime 1 plus tan 2 u and uh, cot u is u prime minus minus u prime 1 plus cot u over by 2 Now we are going to use, uh, go through, start with the examples. The first example is uh, we will uh, draw the graph of uh, y equals to sin power by 3x minus 2 sin power by 2x and uh, the period of this is 2p and period of this is p then uh, the period of y is 2p which means that x belongs to 0 and 2p. x0, x0 is y0. y0 is uh, uh, sinus 2x sinus x minus 2 equals to 0 then sinus 2x is 0 then x equals to kp it is uh, it is 0 p and 2p and uh, sinus x minus 2 is not 0 because sinus varies between min minus 1 because sinus x varies between minus 1 and 1 and it cannot be 2 y prime is the 3 cosinus x sin 2x minus 2 or 4 uh, sin x cosinus x equals to 0 then uh, sin x cosinus x multiplied by 3 sin x minus 4 and this one cannot be 0 then sin x 0 cosinus x 0 gives us kp and this one give us kp plus p half Okay, now we are going to to draw the table. K 
save it. X Y prime Y zero P hat P three P hat two P and uh, for this uh, for all of these values y prime is zero and uh, it is zero and it is minus one then this is minus plus minus plus and here for p is zero is minus three and zero then we have a minimum here maximum and minimum then we are going to draw it's zero zero P halva minus one P zero three P hal minus three and then two P is zero. Then we have this. So almost So we are going to go through another example. We are going to go through this example. Y equals to cosinus x divided by two cosinus x minus 1 and uh, it is a uh, 2p for both of them and uh, is uh, x is x belongs this one and uh, for uh, 2 cosinus x minus 1 equals 0, cosinus x equals 2 half, uh, which is cosinus p third, or x equals to 2k p plus p third. And uh, it is the uh, vertical. Uh, is the vertical asymptote and this plus minus we 
which is x equals to p third y is plus minus infinite and x equals to p 5 p third uh, y goes to plus minus infinite and uh, for x equals 0 or x equals to 2p then y equals to 1 divided by 2 minus 1 it is 1 and uh, for y equals to 0 then cosinus x is 0 then x is kp plus p half which is uh, p half and 3 p half y prime equals to minus 2 sinus x cosinus x plus sin x plus 2 sin x cosinus x divided by 2 cosinus x minus 1 power by 2 equals to 0 this one and this one is 0 then give us sin x equals to 0 and x equals to k p equals to 0 p and 2 p now we are going to the table x y prime and y zero p divided by three p divided by two p three p and five p divided by three and two p and the y prime is zero for that for p and for two p and uh, for this is uh, infinite and for this is infinite but uh, for this is zero here and here one plus infinite minus infinite and for p is one third for this is zero and it is mi minus infinite plus infinite and one then we have up, 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 down, down, and down. And we have only one maximum. Then uh, we are going to have a For x equals to p half and 5 p, uh, p third, uh, we have a vertical asymptote and it is here, it's going to up and from here we have this, this, this. 
it's here and from here you are going to go up Okay, and all we are going from this zero one is here, and from one goes to infinite, and from minus up till p half zero. This is p half zero, and p one third, and three p half zero, and minus, and it is going so, and then from plus infinite to 2p1. I'm going to go to two examples. And it is y equals to 1 divided by sin x sin x. And the uh, the period is 2p and x belongs to 0 to p. Hmm. A vertical asymptote sin x 0, 1 minus sin x 0, then x equals to 0, p, 2p, and uh, here x is p hat now y prime equals to zero give us cosinus x zero or minus 1 plus 2 sin x 0 then give us x equals to p hat 3 p hat and this one gives us x equals to p divided by 6 and 5 p divided by 6 And then we see in uh, and also for uh, x equals p half both. Uh, both y and y prime goes to y and y prime goes to infinite. Then we have three. We create the table.
x y prime y and it is 0 p divided by 6 p divided by 2 5p divided by 6 p 3p divided by 2 and 2p and uh, it is uh, 0 for that 0 for that and 0 for that and uh, for this it is a vertical vertical uh, uh, asymptom and uh, for zero is uh, plus infinite this one is four it is plus infinite plus infinite four four and it is plus infinite minus infinite minus half and minus infinite then we have uh, one minimum here and again one minimum here and uh, here is maximum then uh, we have a uh, graph it's a uh, line p hunt line p and line 2p and uh, from 0 plus infinite here to p divided by 6 and 4 it's going so and then from plus infinite to 5 divided by it is 4 again and it is so and uh, from 3p half from minus and here it's here okay Now we are going to have a y equals to sin px divided by 4 minus cosinus px divided by 4 divided by sin px half. And uh, the period is 2p divided by alpha is 2p divided by p divided by 4 is 8. And it is a nominator and dominator is a is uh, 2 p divided by p half which is 4 
again we get it that x belongs to 0 and 8. Vertical asymptote sinus px half equals to 0, then px half equals to kp, then x is 2k is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. y0 then uh, then when we divide this one by cosinus then we have tan px divided by 4 minus 1 equals to 0 then uh, we tell it that uh, equals to 1 equals to k p plus p 4 equals to p x fourth then x equals to 4k plus 1 it is 1 and 5 Y prime equals to cosinus alpha plus sin alpha multiplied by two minus sin alpha equals to zero. It cannot be zero. It cannot be zero. But this is uh, this is tan alpha equals to minus one and the uh, alpha equals to kp plus p fourth where alpha alpha is px divided by 4 then x equals to 4k minus 1 is 3 and 7 now we are going to draw create a table x y prime y for zero for zero is that zero and it is infinite minus infinite for one is zero for two we have infinite plus infinite minus here for three 
we have minus 2 squared for 4 we have minus and plus for 5 is 0 for 6 again is minus plus and for 7 is 0 here and for 3 also is 0 and it is 2 squared and for 8 we have plus infinite then you are going up up uh, up down down no Down here, down, down, and up. We have a maximum and minimum. And then we are going to draw the vertical asymptote was zero here one two two is vertical asymptote and we have three and four is vertical asymptote we have calculated here here and this is five and six is vertical asymptote and we have seven here and we have eight vertical asymptote okay um, for uh, zero minus infinite minus infinite here and zero and it's going to cross one zero here is and it's going to plus infinite then it's going to go so and for now minus infinite here three is minus uh, Two squared, and it's going to have it so, and then from plus infinite to five zero, plus infinite to five zero, and continue to minus infinite. Then it is so, and uh, from plus infinite to seven. 2 squared, 2 squared, and to 8 plus infinite, and it is so. Okay, I hope that you have learned about the uh, trigonometrical uh, functions, and in the next, we are going to go through the changes and the uh, a function and uh, okay see you in next video